We bought our building about eight years ago, and you could say that we got it at a £140,000 discount. You could also say that the seller missed an opportunity to point out the value of the building's roof as an income source, which might be because he hadn't watched this video. There were two mistakes made here. The first one was the seller missing the value of the roof, and the second one I'll get onto later. When you buy a building, just like when you buy any investment, including solar panels, you're buying an income stream. You're purchasing future cash flows. And that's how you value the investment. You try to give your future cash flows a value today, called the net present value. So the price we paid, and the price the property owner was willing to sell to us at, was calculated based on how much rent we would have to pay over the lifetime of the building, as well as the underlying value of the land. And the mistake the seller made was not realising that the roof had a value as a source of future cash flows. And all that would be required would be to put solar panels on it, which would generate savings in electricity for over 25 years. Putting a value on your building without considering the value of the roof is like selling a block of five flats and basing the value of the income from only four of those flats, just because the fifth one didn't happen to have a tenant in it at the time. You have to take the future profits of a solar system into account when you're selling a building. Or even better, put the panels on yourself and realise the value of the roof, then pass that on to the buyer. What the property owner could have done is said, if you invest in solar on this building, the future electricity savings will give you a net present value for your investment of over £140,000. And because of that, I'm going to need, say, another one hundred and twenty dollars for the building. Now, as it happens, we also made a big mistake because for the first seven years, we didn't put solar on it. We're currently saving over £7,000 a year from our solar system, but the failure to take action seven years ago has cost us over £50,000. And that's money that we're never going to see again. Going back to the buy-to-let flats analogy, if we'd thought of our roof as an empty buy-to-let flat, we would never have left it empty for six years because, well, no one's that stupid. But yeah, we were that stupid. 